Penny Lane is when McCartney really strongly fell in love with uh, the Beach Boys. And uh, this section where it goes... That is a direct rip from Brian Wilson. He, the, the, I forget what instrument. Let's, uh, let's give it a listen. But you can hear the Beach Boys kind of good vibrations-y stuff. Uh, do I have it here? So there's constant like quarter note insistence on the on the piano, but if you listen, as soon as the song moves from one section to another, there's a change in voicings. Oh. You know, I don't know what that blip, blip, blip sound is in, in the first part of it, but it sounds like some sort of high-pitched, like maybe a Wurlitzer keyboard or something okay. like that, you know, with some effect on it. And then he goes into straight piano for uh -huh. the minor chord part. Uh, but all this stuff, all this stuff you could hear on the Beach Boys, Good Vibrations. You listen closely to that song, and then listen to Abbey Road or something like that, you'll go, oh my God, it's, oh. it's the Beach Boys, you okay. know. So you had that, all right. Lennon, on the other hand, at this point, was losing the Dylan influence, but he was being influenced by all sorts of other stuff that had nothing to do with, like, musical heroes or anything like that. He was, you know, checking out the avant-garde in New York and getting into the art scene and the political scene. But Penny Lane, McCartney has done this motion in so many... This first motion of the song, which is... Uh, uh, Same thing. Ba, 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 right? Um, what's another song he does that in? Uh, hello, hello. I don't know. Uh, uh, wait. Hello, hello. I don't know why. I say hello. Hello, hello. Uh, so it's ba, 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 ba. Right. Alright, so we're getting like, uh, you know, that's one thing that he, he had a pension for. Penny Lane, uh, so it does this. Alright, and then we, we're lured into thinking it's going to continue. Alright, now any songwriter probably would have repeated the same line. I mean, this is one thing about the Beatles that I, I recognized early on was, I would write a melody and it would repeat after two bars. You know, mm -hmm. but the Beatles would write a melody, and then they'd connect another melody, and then another melody, and then another melody, and all these melodies were so well crafted that they would stick in the mind. You know, nowadays, in, you know, attention deficit disorder land, yeah, uh, people don't have the attention span to listen more to more than two bars of of music without losing attention. You know, yeah. But you know, back in those days, I think the attention span was a little better, and people could listen to these long, sprawling melodies, and actually. It's an incredible art form to be able to do this. So that's my point. In any case, he starts out, and we think we're going to hear it again, but he takes us to the parallel minor key, C minor. We were in C major, and we're doing scale shape. Do, Ti, La, Sol, Fa, Mi, Re, Sol, right? 